it's story time. Alligator at Saw Grass Road by Janet Hoffman. In early June, the red sun sets on the Florida Everglades. Something is happening in the grassy waters of the marsh behind the lone house at the end of Saw Grass Road. On a small tree island, Alligator prepares to build her nest. With her strong jaws, she yanks sawgrass, cattails and alligator flag out of the ground. She pushes these water plants, along with mud, into a mound under some trees. Night after night, she adds to the big pile until it is three feet tall, high enough to stay above water as summer rains flood the marsh. When the nest is finished, Alligator climbs to the top and digs out a hollow with her scaly back feet. She lays 30 large white eggs with hard shells. She covers them with more plants to keep them safe and warm. Now Alligator slides down the bank into her gator hole to keep watch. This fresh water pond at the centre of the tree island is special. Alligator dug it herself and weeds it constantly to keep it clean and deep. During the winter, when most of the shallow marsh dries up, her gator hole does not. Its life-giving waters attract fish, turtles, frogs, water snakes and birds from all over the glades. And that means plenty of food to keep alligator's tummy full. Alligator is a sneaky hunter. She floats in the water without making a ripple. Only her sparkling eyes and tip of her nose poke out. A garfish thinks alligator's a bumpy black log and swims close. In a flash, alligator lunges, snap! She crunches the fish in her toothy jaws and swallows it whole. Alligator spends most of her time close to her nest. One night, as her cat-like eyes peer from the rushes, A hungry raccoon finds a mound of hidden eggs. Alligator charges from the water. Her huge mouth opened wide. Yes! The raccoon runs off to find food elsewhere. Another time, when Alligator is distracted by a brown water snake, a female red-bellied turtle pushes right into the side of the nest. What does she want? She doesn't eat alligator eggs. Inside the nest, the turtle lays 20 of her own eggs and then leaves. Now, without knowing it, alligator will be guarding the turtle eggs too. All summer, the alligator eggs and the turtle eggs lie snug in the nest under the trees. The hot sun and the heat on the rotting plants keep the eggs warm. From time to time, alligator drags her dripping body over the nest to keep it moist. Then, one hot steamy night in the middle of August, tiny noises come from the nest. Umph, umph, umph. Alligator rushes over and gently claws off the hard top of the nest. Inside, several little black and yellow alligators have broken open their shells. Now, the nine-inch long babies wiggle free. So do several tiny red-bellied turtles. Some baby alligators have trouble hatching. So Alligator helps out. One by one, she picks up the eggs in her huge jaws. She rolls them against the roof of her mouth with her tongue, gently cracking them. The baby gators squirm between her big, sharp teeth. The eggs from the warm top of the nest hatch as males. Those from the cooler bottom hatch as females. When all of the baby gators have hatched, Alligator starts picking them up in her mouth. She pulls her tongue down to form a special pouch where they can sit, ten at a time. Then she carries them to her gator hole. The tiny turtles lie low until alligator leaves the nest. Then they scamper to freedom. They head to the water too, but are completely on their own. Once all of the baby gators are in the water, alligator grants for them to follow her to a safe den hidden beneath the bank of the gator hole. The tired babies lie in the mud at the back of the den. Soon they fall asleep under alligator's watchful eyes. 
For the first few days, the babies live on the egg yolk in their bellies. Then they start hunting insects, frogs and tiny fish in the clear water of the gator hole. But danger lurks everywhere. A great blue heron spots a baby exploring in some lily pads. Yerk, 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 calls the frightened little one. Alligator swishes her powerful tail and splashes to the baby's side. The heron flies off and the baby is safe. When the little gators aren't hunting or exploring, they sun themselves on top of alligator's head and scramble over her back. They will stay near alligator for two years or more. She will do everything she can to keep them safe as they grow up in the gator hole at the end of Saw Grass Road. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up.